Hey, what's up, boxers? This is Zach Rizet with BuildBox. I got another quick tutorial for you. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to move your character in a square like this with each time you tap the screen, the character is going to pivot 90 degrees and move into a square, kind of like the game Snake, okay? I don't know if you remember that old classic Nokia game. It's an ancient one, but it's a goodie and an oldie, yeah. Um, but hey, I actually had to ask my buddy Darius for help on this one because I was getting a little tripped up on the setup. And it, just in case you don't know, my buddy Darius is the CEO of an awesome game development and publishing company called AppSir Inc. All right, and as a bonus to this uh, video, just because I want to thank him for helping me out, um, I'm going to show you a, a trailer for Darius's upcoming game, Dairy Evil Exe. Okay, and it's going to be an awesome game. I don't know if you played the first one, but like Marky Plyer played it on his YouTube channel, and he loved it. It's got a lot of attention. It got a lot of uh, got a, a lot of great uh, feedback and everything like that. Um, so I'm going to show you guys his upcoming game. It's coming out July 4th. It's gonna be awesome. And I'm also going to include the BB doc to this tutorial in the uh, description, okay? In the link, um, I'm gonna have a download link for you in the description, okay? So let's check out and see how you set this up, okay? So first thing you wanna do is I suggest going with the basketball. Uh, template okay that's the easiest one because that one there's no forced movement or anything like that it's a stationary character trying to shoot into a basket okay the other thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to get rid of all this stuff just in one fell swoop select it all delete okay I'm gonna start off with a blank slate here okay the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring the character back in because I deleted them all right and the, the trick this one's a little tricky okay so we're gonna use an object type as the like as kind of like the main character this is going to help move the main character around and then uh, we're going to attach the character to it okay so first off i want to give i want to make this a uh, little object i'm going to make this keep this as a, pl as a platform i'm going to change the linear velocity in the x direction to eight and then i'll go ahead and do collide and uh, you know i'm not i'm not going to do collide no collide here okay now the next thing I need to do, so I've set that up there. I've got the linear velocity is eight. We're good to go there. Now the next thing I need to do is I need to go up here to my mind map, go to my world UI, and I need to change this character button from the function shoot to component action. And then I'm gonna rename this button turn 90 degrees, okay? So that I can find it and use this. Okay, now I'm gonna go back to my mind map, back to my world. And then I'm going to change the settings on this obstacle um, object here. I'm going to add a component. I'll add, um, let's see here. I'll just go ahead and I'll keep it. I'm going to add an advanced move. All right, I'm going to click activate on release. Okay, you got to have that set up. And then for the angular velocity, we're going to give it a 90, a negative 90 degrees angular velocity. And that's what's going to make it move into a square. Okay, we're going to change the mathematical operation to add and the event is going to happen every time we hit the turn 90 degrees button. Okay, and then we're going to change the timeout to something real short, uh, make it like one thousandths of, uh, of a second. Okay, so now let's go ahead and just check that out and see the behavior before I even connect it. Okay, see how the square is moving in a perfect square and it's pivoting 90 degrees each time I do this, right? Okay, now we just need to attach the character and make it work for the character as well. Okay, it's super easy. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on connection mode and you want to make the take the character here and I believe you wanna connect it this way to the object and that's how you connect it to its parent. And then let's make sure that that's working first. I'm gonna make sure that they're connected. And okay, cool. So I actually need to connect it the other way. I had a feeling I, I messed that up. Okay, so I'm gonna select that. I'm gonna connect it the other way so the parent connects to the object. And then now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the opacity down on this guy uh, to down to zero and I'll make the, uh, I'll line these up perfectly, okay? And we you'd, wa you'd wanna mess with your collision shape so that they're even more uh, dialed in here, but this'll work perfectly. Okay, so now I've got the character attached, ready to go. So let's go ahead and press play. Okay, cool. See how it's uh, uh, rotating though, as it's going 90 degrees, there's a way to fix that as well. All right, and you can turn off debug mode and you can see, well, because it's a ball, even though it's rotating, you, you can't see it. But let's say you have a character that is rotating and you don't want it to rotate. Let me show you how to do that real fast. Okay, so you go over here to your character settings, you take your character and just turn on fixed rotation. 
Okay, that, that'll that fix the rotation and it won't move, make it spin. See what I mean right here? I'm gonna turn on debug mode so you can see that it's no longer spinning like it was last time, okay? And even though it looks the same, you probably, it might look different if you're using a character other than a ball, which I have a feeling some of you might use like a little spaceship or something like that. Okay, so this allows you to turn uh, 90 degrees each time. Now, another question that I'm already anticipating from you guys is, well then, how do we like make the character be defeated? Okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and I'll add in a uh, gray circle here, just a random gray circle. And you know what? That one has a not, doesn't have the best collision shape. Let me go ahead and use this one. And then I'm going to fix the collision shape on this guy too. So change it from polygon to circle. It automatically does it for us. I'll probably stretch it out just a little bit. Okay, now let's take a look at the collision shapes. Okay, cool. So now we got the collision shape here. So once I'm going to set this as an enemy type and once you come in contact with it it's going to destroy the character all right so now let's let's watch this you hit the little thing boom character's done okay so that's how you go that's how you set that up now uh, i hope you thought this video was useful um, i'm going to show you darius's uh trailer right now so check this thing out it's so exciting i'm really excited for this uh for this game in the beginning there was horror Then the developer said, let there be a new chapter. All right, boxers, that's it for this video. I hope you liked that trailer. I'm really excited for the game. That's DairyEvil.exe. It's coming out July 4th, 2018. It's coming up pretty soon, and it's going to be awesome. All right, I hope you thought this video is useful, and if you want to see more videos like this, then please like this video and subscribe to our channel. All right, see you later, boxers. Like and subscribe.